This is a TIAC AG10D 6.1 amplifier that I've got a bit of a problem with. When I switch on, the power light comes on okay. It all powers up. But as soon as I press the speaker setup button, it switches itself off again. And I think what's what's caused the problem is it's been ran on its side for about two two days straight. So I'm suspecting that uh, heat's done damage to the capacitor somewhere. So uh, we're gonna have to have a look inside, see what we can find. I've already unscrewed the top, so. <coughs> I'm having a bit of trouble with light here, so. Right, I'm suspecting that this heat sink here, with being on its side, as the heat must have risen up and done some damage to these caps down here somewhere. I'm suspecting them to. Let's put the macro on and probably see it better. Yeah, those two caps there are very, very close this heat sink and it gives off a lot of heat when it's been on for about an hour and a half I'm suspecting that anyway um, I've checked all the rest of these caps here the big main caps big filters they're okay um, what I think I'm gonna do just to be honest because I haven't got any SR tester any SR cap tester I'm gonna take the main board out and just replace a lot of the capacitors and maybe all of them you know it might not be a cap, it might be a resistor or something somewhere, but I'm, I'm suspecting it's a heat problem that's done the damage. Um, it's a shame because I could do a gain of sample working because it's a lovely sounding kit, piece of kit, you know. Um, 6.1 channel, 125 watts per channel. Uh, let's have a look this way. Yeah, it's got one massive long heat sink here. I mean, there's no caps there for it to damage, so I shouldn't think it'd be that. But with it being on its side, that way, the heat must have risen up from this heat sink and hit something down here. I'm pretty sure those caps are rated at 85 Celsius. I think I should replace them with 110, 105, sorry, 105 Celsius. Uh, let's have a look at the rating of those. I'll look at the value of them. Uh, the 50 watts, uh, sorry, 50 volts, and that's 10 microfarad. Those two there. Uh, so I'll replace them anyway. And, if, and these here, well, close to the heat sink as well. I shouldn't imagine anything on the. Um, MPEG board would be damaged because there's, you know, there's no heat or nothing there. Um, I'll have a look on the power strip. Let's see if there's anything down there. See if any of the caps there are balls or anything. But it doesn't look like that. I shouldn't imagine that caused that that single button to stop working. I shouldn't. I shouldn't think that to cause that anyway because that's just the main power board. But you see, it all works perfect, and the sound comes out of every channel perfectly. But as soon as I press the speaker setup button, it just switches itself off again. And what's supposed to happen is, it's supposed to bring um, a display up showing you what size speakers you're using. It's a very strange fault, I can't understand it actually. The only thing I can put it down to is the heat with it being run on its side for so long. It's a, nice, it's a nice amp. I mean, it's solid aluminium at the front and everything. Um, I could do again, it fixed. So I can use it on my computer for making music with and what have you. So, uh, what I think I'll do is start by taking all the parts out and getting to the main board on its own, put it on the bench, and resolder all these, some new caps in there. 
I think that's probably the best bet. Just recapping it and see where I go from there. Because I can't think of anything else that could be. The relays seem to be working okay. There's a relay there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little black relay there. That's working perfectly. And there's one on the power board there. The switch is a transformer off and on, and that's working perfect. So, yeah, I can't see it being that, to be honest with you. There's probably some very, very slight fault in one of the caps somewhere. It's got high SR or something like that. Um, yeah, I can't really. It's just one of those things, you know, one of very, very small faults, but, you know, I'd rather have it working properly, you know, and getting it fixed. It's a shame because, like I say, it's a, it's a brilliant amp. The sound out of it's immense. It's immense, yeah. So what I'll do then, I'll start taking it apart. Let's take the mains power out. So start taking it apart and uh, again, these new caps soldered in. This is a proper 6.1 amp as well, you know, with the proper binding post, not the uh, clipping clip type, which is terrible. It's got just about in uh, as many ins and outs as I can think of here, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's a nice amp. Shame. I think it's my own fault that it's gone like this, actually. Like I say, running down its side, it must have damaged something somewhere. I shouldn't think it'd be resisted because they can stand a fair bit of heat anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll take a look. I'll get back to you, see what happens. <laughs> 